Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dork Entertainment. We've got a very special video for you today. I've got Samit here with me. We're going to be checking out or discussing The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It, the review. So we checked, we watched this movie um, last night. Yeah. Oh, and it was, yeah, pretty good. So we're going to be doing a review. Um, initial thoughts? Um, just brief initial thoughts. I thought it was, um, it was, uh, it, it, it didn't, it's hard to explain this one actually, because um, it, Push the franchise in a new direction, but I think it sort of lost some of its scares that it usually gets. It wasn't as scary as as the first two, um, especially the first one. I thought the first one was a work of art from from James Wan, um, but um, this is Michael Chavez uh, around the, the director from Curse of uh, La Llorona. Mm. Yes, and um, yeah, I just uh, I, I liked how it wasn't just. Um, the usual haunted house, uh, you know, thing that we get with horror movies, but um, yeah, it's just it isn't as scary. It felt very actiony to me, but yeah, it's just the initial sort of thought. Yeah. What was your what's your rating? Let's give us your rating. Um, so I would give this a seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Yeah, seven out of ten. It's 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 a good watch if you're if you're you know Conjuring fan or or a horror fan, but it did sort of lack the scares that i would i would like usually from the conjuring movies and um a lot of that um maybe is down to a new director possibly um but yeah it's it's a seven for me yeah um look i'd have to go about the same uh, i'd say a seven out of ten for me um i thought it was an entertaining movie uh and uh, you know i definitely enjoyed watching it there were some moments of jump scares you know yeah. where you, you're like you know, really like it builds up the anticipation. Um, I've got to say the, um, some of the scenes that they did of the exorcisms are crazy insane, but yeah. I agree with Samit. It doesn't have like that level of, of, of that fear factor, that scare, like yeah. that, or that, or the, just that uneasy feeling you get with the other movies, the other yeah. two movies. And that's, that's the, the artistry of James Wan, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. he has this very un, uneasy sort of feeling to his, like, you know, when you're watching it, um, watching his movies and there's just there's just this like really dread yeah uh, when you're watching like The Conjuring or any of James Wan's movies yeah I feel like the dread is not there yeah um, for this and, one and just remember as well like this is uh, based on a a, a true story like, yeah true yeah. events uh, this actually happened so this is a court case um, one of uh, yeah. that oh, Ed and Lorraine investigated. Yeah. Should we go into spoilers now? Ooh, spoiler alert? Yes. <laughs> so spoiler alert. From Ooh. here on in, there is uh, spoilers about the movie. Yes. Um, but yeah, so as we're saying, basically, it is uh, an actual case yeah. um, that they investigated. And uh, yeah, so went to court. And uh, uh, so uh, what's his name? Um, Arnie. Arnie Johnson, yeah. Arnie Johnson. He, Arnie Johnson. He pleaded... Um, that, you know, he said that the devil made him do it. He murdered someone. He murdered his landlord. Uh, and he pleaded that, that, that he was possessed by the devil yeah. and it made him... And like him. what sort of helped his case, I guess, was um, the fact that the Warrens were, in the, in the weeks preceding the murder, were um, helping his family or helping his girlfriend's family um, with the girlfriend's younger brother um, being possessed. And, um, yeah, he sort of goes into this whole, um, thing where the, the Warrens are doing an, or Warrens and a priest are doing an exorcism yeah. on the young boy, on the young brother. And then, um, all of a sudden, uh, I guess that scene, by the way, is crazy. It's that crazy. That's scene, this demon that's yeah. in that kid. Oh my God. It's, it is a crazy scene. Um, and in that scene, and I think in, in what I've heard from the real life accounts is that as well as that the... Uh, they don't show as much in the movie, but um, like in the real life account, apparently Arnie Johnson was kind of um, mocking the demons and saying, "Oh, you know, who are you guys? You know, you know, I could stay, I, you know, put it in, put put the you know the demon into me. I'll fight you guys." He was doing it in a sort of mocking way, and like you never uh, do that. The Warrens were like, uh, "Mate, don't do that. <laughs> like, you know, that's not that's not the the right thing to do." And this one. He's more. He's doing it more out of compassion that he doesn't want to see his brother, his uh, girlfriend's brother, girlfriend's be um, like yeah, possessed like that. Yeah. Um, it was heartbreaking for him, so he wanted 
to, you know, to sacrifice himself. And what ended up happening was, um, yeah, he did go into into Arnie, and um, the only person who saw it was uh, Ed Warren, who has a heart attack. Mm. Um, yeah, so that I mean, that's the crux of the story. Then he gets he murders his landlord under the yep. possession of uh, the demon, and he goes to trial. Yep. Uh, and Ed and Ed and uh, Lorraine, as we all know, um, the Warrens, they've come to investigate. Yeah. Um, one thing I really liked about this movie uh, is it's not just you're right. It's not just the same haunted house horror thing. No. They've actually gone into witchcraft. Uh, you know, um, yeah. it, it, it's a spoiler, but there is elements of uh, witchcraft in this, like with totems and, yeah. and things like that. So that's quite creepy as well. Yeah, to me, that's the interesting part of it. Right? Yes, um, it is definitely interesting. It's not like a boring movie. It no. is interesting. It's worth a watch, but yeah. it's just, yeah, the scare levels aren't as creepy. Well, you know, the uneasiness, like you were talking about yeah. before. The uneasiness is out of it, but the interesting part of uh, that whole, you know, Conjuring universe is being brought up, you know, another level because of the fact that they finally meet their match. Yes. Um, the Warrens. They finally meet someone who's on the opposite end of some of these things and they're, they're they can go after them. Yeah. So somebody's talking about how Lorraine can uh, envision... Yeah, uh, what's happening? She goes into that scenario when she touches them or a yeah. victim, and and you know she can see or she feels what, what's happening. Yeah. And the opposite, and the witch that's yes. in this movie, she does the same thing, but she controls yes. um, whoever she wants to to do really crazy things. And in the end, we find out it's to fulfill a ritual that the witch is doing yes. um, for the for for the demons, and um, it's. It's pretty crazy in the law side of things for, for the Conjuring universe, but um, yeah, it's it's definitely interesting. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm happy that I watched it because it's definitely yeah. worth the watch, and I really do hope they make more Conjuring movies. Yeah. Um, so please, guys, support this because I I feel it was a good movie. Yeah. It's not a bad movie at all. It has Boromir's dad in it. <laughs> yes, yes, from Lord of the Rings. Um, Bor- he's he plays a weird sort of creepy character, but yeah. uh, like it's. The yeah. acting is really good in this. Acting is good. And i got to say, uh, I mean, we've seen movies with exorcisms. The two, ex- there's two exorcism scenes in this. Both of them are off the charts. Very graphic. Very graphic. Very graphic. Uh, um, and very intense. Um, but it's sort of like, well, you know, you, you are taken back by those yeah. scenes. Um, like, this, there are jump scares in this. Um, yeah. And i got to say, the jump scares are, are good as well. Like, you know, you do sort of get freaked out. Mm. Um, and I enjoyed it. I, did I get as scared, uh, you know, uh, when I watched The Conjuring uh, Part 1? No. No, no, no. Conjuring it, Part 1 was just a very uneasy sort of feeling you get yeah. when you get home after watching the movie. You're like... Yeah. Um, but this one, I didn't get that feeling, but I was creeped out while I was watching it. You know, it was scary. Yeah. Uh, it, and it like, was interesting. What I can sort of attest to that is that um, with Conjuring Part 1, James Wan, and expanding his artistry, that he sort of... He knows when to hold back. He knows when to put in like a, a scary scene. He knows when to build it up. I just feel like the, like that was missing in this one. Mm. It felt just like action, action, action. Mm. Something's happening. Next scene. Next, and then like there's not that artistry there from like, you know, there's obviously you know, James was not directing, but it's not there. It's a different director. Mm. Um, he's got a different style. And while that different style, it it's good for the lore of the Conjuring mm. universe. I don't believe it's a... Uh, that scared me of the movie. <laughs> um, technically, like I thought, it was filmed beautifully. Yeah. Um, the feel, the color layout, everything yeah. is is beautiful. The sound mixing was yeah, great. It sounds good. Um, the music was great. I love the background music. It yeah. is very creepy. Um, but yeah, just it was just toned down a little bit on that uh, creepiness yeah. factor. And I, I like how that um, Vera Farmiga looks like Lorraine Warren. Yeah, she's, she's with the hairstyle and everything. Yeah. Like the actual. Uh, you know, so this um, one's set in the eighties. This, yeah. uh, this Conjuring. I think this is the latest mm. um, that the Conjuring universe has ever been set. Mm. I believe. Yeah. Wow. That's interesting. Um, and you know, uh, Lorraine Warren, uh, she, like during that time, if you look at old videos of Lorraine in the eighties, it does look like Vera Farmiga a lot. Mm. There's, a, there's a pretty big resemblance. You sort of wonder when it will end. Do you know what I mean? Like because I mean because it's based on their real lives. Yeah. And the story. Uh, in, the you know, investigations that they've done, it ends obviously at some point, right? Yeah. And I wonder when that's going to be. So I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping to see more of um, these Conjuring movies. And I'm, I'm hoping James Wan actually comes back to direct another one because 
He's well, he, that. he he's got another movie coming, another actually an actual horror movie coming out, not connected to these Conjuring, yes. not not connected to Conjuring. He's got Malignant coming out yes. later this year. That would be um, cool. Yeah, it's it's interesting because he's done a lot of big budget um, movies, and now he's now he's back to doing what he loves, which mm. is what I like. Um, James Wan doing horror. Mm. So yeah, um, to sum it up, uh, I think that uh, this movie is worth a watch. Yeah. Uh, and if you if you if you really love the Conjuring universe, you know you need to watch this. Um, not as creepy, but it has scares in it. Yeah. But it's interesting because it delves into witchcraft and yeah. uh, not just you know demons. It does go into witchcraft and totems, which is quite interesting from from my perspective. Yeah, and it expands the law. I think that's that's yeah. what um, yeah a lot of shared universes that you want to see is that the law that gets expanded. But um, I would sort of like it. In a way where it sort of, it it sort of follows. James, I mean, it doesn't have to follow James Wan's exact directing, but um, stay true a bit more to some of the elements that James Wan puts in his movies about, yeah, building up, you know, a scare and the art. Of, the art of that, I think, is what is sort of lost in this one a little bit. But um, I still liked it. Yeah. So guys, definitely check this out. Uh, please leave a comment below. Let us know what you think of this movie after you've seen it or whether you're looking forward to it. And, and you know, uh, check it out in the cinema near you if you can. It is, it is out in theatres in most countries. Um, let us know what you think below. Please like uh, the video, share and subscribe if you can. We do appreciate all of your support. And we shall see you in the next video. Peace.